There, there's really a couple different operations that go on in New York. There's the officiating command center, and then there is game operations, which has their own center, too. And so this is a game operations decision that they had to make here. And, and obviously, they want to start the game with this. You know, the whole cockeyed goalpost thing kind of goes back to dunking the ball over the crossbar when we had those celebrations thing, and, and they were knocking the goalposts off kilter. And we had the same thing, had to stop games and then get them lined up right. So game operations has really got involved in this, I am sure, and said, do whatever you do to get it to get it straightened out before the game even starts. And that's what uh, Sterator is trying to do now. Hey, Mike, this is Charles. You know, would game operations in New York be talking to op operations in Atlanta and asking, where's your punch list on this? This is something that you go over in pregame. Do you have any idea of what happened? Did some of the guys do it in warm-ups, maybe? Yeah, it, it could possibly be that somebody didn't warm up. I mean, you know, I'm looking at it here. It didn't look that off, but somebody obviously made a point of it. And, you know, it, it can happen. But I agree with you. When the officials are walking around the field an hour before the game, you like to look at those things. But at least now, we've got it fixed.